was Carlisle's fourth in six matches. It left the Cumbrian second bottom of Division 2. It was also to be Mervyn Day's final game in charge. No one from the club would agree to be interviewed, with confirmation of Day's sacking coming in the following statements. Yesterday evening, the board of directors of Carlisle United dismissed Mervyn Day from his position as director of coaching and Peter Hampton, coach and physiotherapist. United currently lie 23rd in the nationwide second division, having won only five games out of its last 18 league matches, despite gaining promotion last season. The club acknowledges the contributions of Mervyn Day as a player and as a coach over the last four seasons, and Peter Hampton, who has served the club in various capacities since 1987. The board will consider the coaching position at the club in due course. As for Mervyn Day, he's been saying little about his dismissal. He's currently at his home in Leeds. When I spoke to him earlier today, he said he was gradually coming to terms with the situation, but was shocked and upset by what had happened. Day had been in charge for 20 months, taking over following the resignation of Nick Wadsworth. Though he narrowly failed to save Carlisle from relegation to Division 3, he guided them to an immediate second division return and a Wembley win. While the club has been reluctant to discuss the situation, supporters have been keen to have their say. I mean, if it had been halfway through the season and in that position, yes, but just at the start of the season, I think it must be, it must be devastating. I'm sorry to see him go. Personally, I think it's disgusting. That lad's done brilliant for this team. And then out of the blue, and it gets finished. There'll be a lot of people turning against Knight now, I'm afraid. How many points are they behind now? There's only about six or eight points from the, from the leaders. Yeah, I would have given them a bit more of a chance. Yeah, of course I would. I was upset, actually, yeah, quite upset, because I'm quite a, well, I think I'm quite a loyal fan to the club, eh? Because they do go to all the matches and that, eh? So you think Mervyn Day should have been kept on? Yes, definitely. Carlisle go into Saturday's game at Wickham with youth team coach David Wilkes in temporary charge, assisted by former player John Halpin.